They're young, they're beautiful, and they're fully clothed. The next generation of teen pop stars is rebelling against the pop of old, putting substance before style and music before image. Cause you're they don't strain to be sexy, they write their own songs, they express teen angst. And some, like Michelle Branch, are overturning the pop market's expectations. Somebody like Michelle Branch, she writes her own material, plays the acoustic guitar. She's living proof that you don't need to adopt all these shock tactics to get people's attention. It's not this over-the-top, calculated feeling. It's just natural, real sexiness. When I first came out with my record, I remember being at the office with the record people and they were all saying, it's just different and there's no dancers and people just aren't very comfortable about it yet. Michelle's album, The Spirit Room, stunned the industry, selling over a million copies and generating two major hits. Even rock legend Santana took notice and collaborated with her on a single. She's not childish, even though she's very young. Her spirit is glorious. It's phenomenal because now you look at anything and here's me, here's Avril Lavigne, here's Vanessa. I can't believe that all of that has shifted so quickly and I'm very grateful. I, I hope that I had something to do with it. Another artist who has spent more time on her songs than her abs is Vanessa Carlton. She's been playing piano since she was two. Vanessa Carlton is sexy because she's not sexy. She looks great, she's got a stylist, but she's not trying so hard. Teenagers today feel like, oh, finally I can wear her outfit, you know? If I could fall into the sky. Her classically influenced pop album, Be Not Nobody, has gotten heavy radio play. You don't know if the public's going to like it or not. All you can do is distribute things you believe in, and you keep your fingers crossed. Every picture that I've seen of Vanessa Carlton and every video, you see her sitting at the piano. And it's the same thing with Michelle Brandt. She's usually got an acoustic guitar with her. What these images are trying to say is that these performers are genuine musicians. Avril Lavigne is another artist with a mind of her own. The 18-year-old Canadian rocker skater is on the cusp of superstardom. And the winner is... Avril Lavigne! This is amazing. My dreams are coming true. I'm really lucky and really blessed. And I'm um, living it up right now and having as much fun as I can. While she's very young, she knows what she wants. She's independent, where you didn't get that feeling with some of the Britneys or the Christinas of the world. You felt that there was magicians in the back pouring the magic on the little girl there, and then she watched her blow up. Her punk-inspired looks have set her apart, especially her signature tie. People call Avril Lavigne the anti-Britney. I'm not an anti-Britney. I'm not going to play that game. She has just as calculated an image as Britney did. You know, if Britney was the schoolgirl skirt, well, she's got the schoolgirl tie. So to each pop star comes an image. Pop may have moved on to a new revolution, but the next generation has a long way to go before they reach Britney scale success. Nobody touches Britney in terms of sheer volume of albums sold. So don't kid yourself. A lot of these artists that we're watching growing up, and some of them think they're already all grown up, but it's a journey. I think some of them are going to look back and think, why did I do that? Don't have any regrets about it. It's just a shtick. It's just entertainment. Time will only tell what the future holds for the next generation. But one thing's for sure. As they grow up in front of the world, all eyes will be on them.